creature cave. You don't want to spend too much time in the creature cave. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Grav. Oh my goodness, the uh, grok cars are still out in force. Luckily, we've made it to the morning somewhat. Um, I'm going to try and make some ammo or something. So I'm not starving for pistol bullets all the time. It just takes a little bit of ore to build this. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. This is going to make 12 pistol bullets. So that should be a pretty good amount. We'll do 50. I suppose that's nice. Yes. Now we're uh, locked and loaded. For now. <clears throat> Still a rusty pistol, which I don't like so much. Um... But we should be able to explore the cave just a little bit more today. Maybe set up a harvester. I'm gonna take care of this guy, see if I can get some blueprints. Hey, buddy. Are, are you dead? Okay, now he's dead. Wood boots. That's nice. Better than rotted wood, I assume. I take all of these. And uh, let's check out the cave. It took almost 50 bullets to kill that dude. Which ain't good. I don't like that too much. But uh, I did see some... Some... Element X, I believe it is. Somewhere in this cave. So uh, we'll see if I can make a little harvester for that. Especially since it's quite near my house. Gems. Okay. I've got plenty of gems. Where was that spot on the floor that I saw? Uh, how about you? They're killing each other. That's good news for me. Kill each other! Kill each other! Unfortunately, I can't loot them if they kill each other, but that'll be just fine. <clears throat> Try not to waste too many of my bullets, I say, as I miss about three times in a row. Alright. Kill everyone. Um... Yep, he sees me all right. I did level up to level eight, so my pistol is doing a little more damage to these guys, which is important. I'm gonna scoop up some goodies. I hope there's something good. Obviously no blueprints, unfortunately, but that'll do just fine. I assume killing bigger stuff is gonna give me a uh, better loot. So that'll be great. Here is the uh, element X I think we need to make. So let's try and build something. Um, uplink campfire storage bin. Harvester. Yes, I want the harvester. Build. And it is drilling. So now we just need to wait for a little while um, to get some element X. I still don't know what the loot crate they're talking about is. I know you can get one online <laughs> for a certain amount of money every month, but I'm not a big fan of Loot Crate or any of those loot boxes, to be completely honest. It's pretty crappy. Health Stim. Ooh, I'm going to put that on my toolbar for sure, and I'll take the rest of this. This is a, a dangerous place. Yes, it is, but we're going to be just fine. Let's interact with the Harvester. Yay! Hello, We've got some uh, element X now. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay, okay. Stay away from me. Ow! Well, I've got a little element X, so I'm going to uh, try and find my way out before I get my shit handed to me and have to fight my way back through with no uh, weapons or armor, which ain't a good idea. Reach level 10 and travel to the moon, find a blueprint, and build a wingsuit. Use an invis stim, defense stim, damage stim, health stim. Eat a ration. Oh, I do have a health stim. We'll do that. A little tutorial XP. Find a pet pl blueprint, build it, and deploy it. So we've got a, a lot of blueprints to find. Similar to Rust, how it was in the, uh, the first little bits. I think a lot of this game is just going to be about killing creatures and things like that, which isn't so bad. Um, it is a bit of a grind, obviously. But it could be much worse. Rust has changed, so uh, you find blueprint fragments, and I think this game will probably end up doing something similar, just because uh, it's a bit more entertaining that way. Oh god. 
All right. You want some? Come and get it, bitch. That's right. You got fucked, didn't you? I have a lot of uh, goodies in my inventory at the moment. Another one. Kill it. Kill it dead. That'll work nicely. Hopefully I can uh, find my way up there for the goodies. Yeah. Yes, goodies. Quite good goodies. Maybe I can uh, do some research or something like that. There are quite a few animals around my home, which I don't like at all. Let's see, recall to uplink. I can make one of these, which will probably be handy if I end up getting lost or something like that. I will put it on zero. Health stim starter, invis stim. Yeah, I want to build a couple of these. Aw, oh, why not? Need job scientist level five. Well, that's troubling. So I will have to change my job. I think your level might reset with the job. That would be a, a good thing to find out. I think that is a loot crate, so uh, we should run over there and get that. See what goodies it might hold. And I hope that guy's not looking at me. No. They're picking on Mr. Vendroid. Poor Mr. Vendroid. Oh god. What the fuck are you? I've never seen this thing before. It's quite fast. But not fast enough, huh? That's right, kid. Another one. And it is level 10, so, uh... Quite a hefty little fellow. I hope we don't see too many of those around. Nice. And I think this place is clear for now. Level 5 loot crate. Oh my god. Ow! Well, I got uh, some goodies. Fleck of fossil, wood acorn, wood gem, sunstone. Apparently I have a jackpot there, which is quite nice. Was that the guy that was chasing me? I'm not sure. I think it was that guy. I'm going to take my vengeance. Now we've got plenty of uh, pistol ammo. I would like to find a blueprint so I can build something a little bit more substantial. But for now, I guess we're doing okay. Um, oh my god, is that more? Freaking me out. There's, there's Weiwei. Wei. Weiwei the Wanderer. Come over here. Come over here. I just want to be your friend. Hooray. Oh shit, not hooray. <laughs> so we have reached level 10 relatively quick from uh, killing things that are much bigger than us. This uh, game has a lot better progression than it did the first time around. Which I think is a good thing. I was feeling a little... A little bored. A little despondent about how it was going the first time. And uh, I think I spent four or five hours without even making a pistol or anything. So... Things are going along a lot smoother. I think on a... Uh, on a public server, that would mean there's a lot of... Uh, large buildings and things like that. Things don't seem so hard to build these days. Power relay extends range of the generator. Ah, ooh. We have enough element X to make a jump pad or a beacon, but my beacon is the giant uh, block that I have. Let's research the scientist's job. Oh, so we did use the uh, element X to open up that job. How do I change my job? Hmm. Additionally, it has skills that increase damage with pistols. That sounds like something I want. And it's not taking me too many uh, shots with the pistol at all to take these guys down now, which is good. I'm building my ammo back up slowly. Slowly but surely. And I could build some wood boots or something like that, but uh, I'd like to find some other, other blueprints. Oh yeah. We're doing good now. We're doing a good thing. Let's see, how can I change my job? Starter guide? Let's see. Oh, that's gonna open up an external window. I don't want that. No way, brah. 
Hmm. Keybinds, maybe. Do, do, do. Flares. Reload. Use health stim. Invis stim. Build inventory. Hmm. Uber player ability? What the fuck? I'm quite interested in that, to be completely honest. Then there's a bunch of emotes. Doesn't say much about, uh, how to, how to change my job. So I'm gonna have to do a little researching on that. And, uh, until then, I'll just harvest some more, some more goodies. Hopefully I won't get too lost from my, my giant place. It's kinda hard to miss, isn't it? It's a big ol' rock. It's like Pride Rock. We live at Pride Rock. We're like Mufasa or something. And if all else fails, I did build that, uh, that uplink recall. So I can get right back home. That'll be real nice. Eat a ration to recover stamina. Hmm. I would like to build that invis stim that they're talking about, but I don't know how to change my job. Maybe it's done at the research station. There doesn't seem to be too much out here. Lag? Hello? Shit. Hmm. There we go. I don't much want to be out here at night either. I didn't think night was so much more dangerous than the daytime. But, uh, the Grokars come out in force. Dead. Dead and dead. Life essence. So we can make some health stims. That'll be quite nice. Hmm. And I've got two pages of inventory currently. So that'll be interesting. That's my house over there. Gotta go over this way. But there's always some goodies around. Yay! Eat some food. Recover staminas. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And I get a little more, uh, tutorial XP. It's a really, really long tutorial, I guess, because the game is really, really in-depth. But, uh, I guess, yeah. It's probably a good thing. You don't just want to drop somebody into a game like this and be like, I don't know, figure it out, fucko. Because, uh... I'll probably not be able to figure it out. <laughs> if you want me to be completely honest. Um, please leave me alone. I'm just harvesting your dead brethren. Please leave me alone. Okay. Get the gun. How's that, fucko? Like that? Yeah! And we have made a profit on the uh, pistol bullets, it seems. So that's quite nice. I just saw that guy respawn. I call hacks. That's like instant respawn. But I'll just uh, take some more goodies. I think I'm getting some element X. That's what that yellow stuff is. And uh, speaking of which, I should probably go back into my little cave and see if the harvester remains or if uh, I got completely screwed by building it in there. Was I supposed to just hold up and uh, do my best? To kill all the creatures in the cave? That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Creature cave. Creature cave! You don't want to spend too much time in the creature cave. That's a fact. Just facts. Level 6 to 9. I did see a level 10 guy. That, uh, night stalker weirdo dude fella. And it seems, uh, the layout hasn't changed from the two times I've been in here before. Oh my god. My harvester is, uh, there. Ready and prepared. If you want to kill this, this big fella. Scorching Crumble Teeth the Rumbler! Crumble Rumble! Oh shit. No, no, no. Health stim, please. Uh oh. Wei Wei got, got bashed by this dude. Just need to stay a little bit out of range. There we go. That'll work nicely. And I want to finish off that big bastard. Oh. Did he got got? He got got. 
Wasn't me that got him either, so I don't get any uh, treats. That really sucks. Let's just try and take down this guy. We'll save way away from himself. Because apparently he doesn't know better than going into the spoopy cave. A big spoopy cave? No element X. Well, we seem to have uh, depleted the resources here. But that's okay. It seems to mine a lot faster, uh, but I think the last time that I played, the Element X was not a permanent thing. Or, or a semi-permanent thing. You could not extract it all, is what I'm trying to say. There was no way that you could deplete the Element X, so a lot of players were fighting over fields of Element X and things like that. Uh, it seems now you have to move around just a little bit more to keep your supplies full. That's another big guy over there. I'm gonna try and navigate that way. And we'll see how it goes. There is quite a lot of loot. Scorching Wallace the Dribbler. I want to kill him. Allow me to kill him. Yes. Kill them all. Hey, buddy. Can I come over here? We can be friends. I find it unfortunate that uh, hitting him in the head, oh my god, doesn't seem to do much more damage than uh, shooting him anywhere else. I think you should get at least increased chance for criticals while hitting him in the head. Monocycle! Oh yeah. I want to build that. Burns wood for fuel, 40 wood per minute, so we'll need to uh, farm some wood up in order to do. Lefty the Sizzler, another named mob. So I'm going to try and take him down as well, hopefully get some more blueprints. Exploring these caves would probably be a lot easier with a team, not so resource intensive and stuff like that, but uh, I ain't got a team at the moment. We are on a solo server, as I probably mentioned. This guy is fucking buff, ow. Alright, big explosion. Shield generator. Provide shielding to rooms. Hmm. I guess that's good keep my uh, shit from getting pushed in. It's alright, I'll take y'all down. Until I run out of bullets, that is. I'm not sure why um, melee weapons are a thing. I suppose you could probably jump on the top of the enemies and uh, get, your, get your melee on, but uh, it doesn't seem so ideal to me. Seems like a really dangerous prospect from what I learned while battling the Grokar Horde in the last episode. But uh, I'm glad we have this cave right near our house so I can get some easy Element X and hopefully build up the monocycle and all that happy horse shit. There's some more Element X here so I will build. Boosh! Piece of cake. And I saw a little more this way so we'll clear out the cave. I do think they uh, respawn relatively quickly, though. Gribbles the Snarler. Oh my god. Oh, he dropped a blueprint. Grab the blueprint! Ah, I know how to make a health stim now. You see my fucking jukes? Mad jukes, bro. But I do have to drag this guy back just a little bit more. Because they take quite a few uh, shots to take down. On the plus side, shooting them in the shell doesn't do reduced damage, but I'd still like to see something uh, for shooting them in the head. A little reward or some some such. A wooden sword? Stabby. How about you? Ah, uh, bleh. I guess the combat knife does pretty good damage, and you do save your ammo. So uh, I, I probably should save the ammo for the, the big fellas that are wandering around. And I think this is ore, which I do need. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take it all! And I can make more bullets if I should need them. But at the moment, I think we're in a... We're in a pretty good place. I look forward to building the monocycle in the next episode. That's gonna be extremely, extremely cool. I need some more organics. That is what we are running the lowest on. And I think that only comes from monsters, so it's the little thing that looks like poop when you open up the inventory. 
You can make food out of it as well if you have a kitchenette, which is another blueprint that you can find. But uh, obviously I'm just kind of farming for blueprints at the moment. Flumarks the Groaner. Can I just pull that one? I guess it's fine. I'll take down his little buddy with my uh, combat knife when I'm able to. And I also want to see how the wooden sword does. I'm trying to look at the damage reading for the combat knife, but it's a little hard because you are extremely close to the mob when you stab them. Die, die, die! It's kind of got like some Borderlands elements, that's what I'm reminded of when the, uh, the stuff is popping up out of there. Storage bin, I have that already. Thank you so much. I think maybe I had health stim as well, but uh, I was a little more excited for that. 71. So yeah, it's basically like three or four pistol shots around that, which is quite nice. And yes, rare and hard to mine. Element X. Element X. Made the Powerpuff Girls. Hello, friend. And then Kevin. Kevin the Uncomfortable just mashed our uh, little Vendroid. Oh shit. That was a good dodge. There's not so much warning uh, for that attack. The frogs and stuff like kind of waggle their tongue before they shoot it out at you, but this dude seems to just fire, uh, well, a fireball. Fossil sword. Cool. Hmm. I, I look forward to making that even more than the wooden sword, obviously. I think it is probably more powerful. And bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Dead sucker. I find this game quite gratifying. I hope you'll join us in the next episode, friends. We're going to explore the cave a little more. I'll get the Element X extractors when I go back, and uh, we'll probably build some cool stuff like the Monocycle and uh, Fossil Sword. So please join me for it. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And if you do, friends, I'll send you uh, an all-natural ginger ale beverage. It's quite nice. I'll see you then, friends, and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.